Hey guys, I am back again for another Jurassic World Mattel toy review. We're back at it again with Hammond Collection, and this hopefully will be a quick video. Since I finally decided to get this figure, it was obviously on sale on Amazon for $7 to $8, so I was like pretty lucky enough to get this, especially considering that my birthday has passed. I figured, eh, what the heck, I'll just go ahead and get it because I can't deny it. I actually really, really, really think this figure looks pretty good any dang way. Like, I had no desire to get it, but then I realized, you know what? Might as well. Jurassic World Hammer Collection, Dr. Ian Malcolm. Now, of course, it's obviously a fun figure so far from the fact that it's got interchangeable arms and a much more improved likeness compared to the original Legacy Collection, which I still like the original Legacy Collection. But, of course, I wanted to go over this figure and see what I really personally think about it when it's out of the package. So, of course... The package itself, which we already went through multiple times so far, actually, I think three times because we had the Dilophosaurus, Alan Grant, and Robert Muldoon. And this is my fourth uh, smaller Hammond Collection figure. So far, it's really a nice looking package, obviously. It's just the same usual standard package we get with a really cool digital render of it alongside with Hammond Collection and the original Jurassic Park logo. Backside, we have Ian Malcolm, the digital render of Ian Malcolm posed with his flair and a bio and a production picture of it with the logos on the top. Typical standard over here. So now we're done looking over the package. Looks really nice. So let's go ahead and get this figure out the package. Alrighty, so we got Ian Malcolm out of his package. And yeah, in person, he definitely looks a lot better out of the package. And obviously like, I am really liking the way this figure looks. Of course, he already looked good from the pictures and everything I've seen and this figure has been out since last year and all that, and since it's becoming more cheaper, I think it was a really good opportunity for me to buy it, like I said. And not to mention, he does look really nice, regardless. And also, a good thing that his glasses are removable, so I'm going to take them off and see how his likeness looks without them. Yeah, he looks really good. <laughs> that looks really good. That's just a close-up of Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, he definitely looks a lot better than his uh, legacy counterpart. Those got the holes in his head, but that's just only for the glasses. But it, the detailing of his face looks really good. So I really do like that. And the hair looks a lot better. Basically, I like the way the head looks much better than the other one. Then you got his jacket entirely an optional wear because you got the separate arms, meaning that you can obviously take it off. He does got nice detailing of his shirt, but his jacket looks really nice. Right off the bat, I do want to go ahead and see how well this works with the arms. There we go. Go ahead and take this jacket off. Essentially, in Malcolm without his jacket. And even without it, he looks really good. <laughs> Those come with different hands. These also can be changed as well. So I could literally take the hands off of here, hopefully, and uh, replace them. But... Overall, it just we're gonna go over the figure again because the figure itself definitely does look similar to the original Ian Malcolm from uh, Legacy Collection, but of course this is all entirely a new sculpt, like new look. So it's not entirely the same figure. He just looks similar, but he looks a lot more nicer in general with the detailing and everything, and of course the articulation being a much different player in this. But it does bring up a it does look a lot better for me. I definitely do like the way this figure looks. And of course the detailing of it being a premium figure, it's like, I did want it to get this, but I always keep holding it off and said I never thought I was ever gonna get it anyway. Having it now, it just looks really nice. Go ahead and put his glasses back on. There we go. Yeah, he just looks really nice regardless. Like this whole figure looks really good. I mean, that's how it should be. More detailing on the look, it's like, it does look a little soft on the shirt, but it doesn't look too bad. But that necklace right there is what I really love. That necklace is really nice. <laughs> Should go ahead and uh, change the hands. Yeah, they definitely do work. Only just for, you know what? I'll go ahead and put this one back on. Only just for the flare. Have him pose with the flare. Flare does fit in his hand. <laughs> Get him in that pose, looking above, uh, looking above the distracted T-Rex and everything. So yeah, he does look pretty good with it on. Just such a simple thing, but he just, he looks really good. Yeah, I'm, 
not gonna lie, definitely am glad that I got this, especially for the price I paid for. It just looks really cool. Oh yeah, and before I jump into comparison, I do notice one issue, and I'm not sure this is a thing, but uh, this arm here, I can definitely tell this might be a production error because you can see like a unpainted watch on this one, meaning that this is definitely a, another arm over here, <laughs> like basically the same as this one. You can definitely tell it's basically the same arm as that and the same arm portion as that one. So it's essentially a production error. So that's kind of weird. But regardless, I don't think I will be having that much of an issue with it, considering that the figure looks overall really good, regardless of that production error. It's obviously a big uh, noticeable issue with my Hammond collection in, but I don't really have that much of an issue. And if we're going to be comparing to the other Ian Malcolms I have in this Mattel collection, I have Dominion Ian and Legacy Collection Ian. Now, I already still said before that I like the Legacy Ian. I really still do. It's still a nice figure. But of course, the head could have been better. It's not too terrible, but it definitely could have been a little bit better. But it's just a nice Ian Malcolm figure from the Legacy Collection lineup. But Hammond Collection... Ian Malcolm is just more, you know, there's a little bit more variety you can do with it. And he comes with his uh, jacket that you can remove. And then Dominion Ian, my only flaw with this figure is that his glasses are not removable. Or at least on my figure. I think there is a way to get it off, but I might have to buy an extra Ian Malcolm in order to get that off. Extra Dominion Ian. And hopefully make a custom. I don't know. Maybe not. But, you know, sometimes I make a lot of empty promises with my toys. <laughs> but whatever. So... Yeah, that's basically it. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this review of the Jurassic World Hammond Collection Dr. Ian Malcolm figure. Overall, nice figure. In fact, really great figure. Definitely recommend picking it up, especially at the price that it is now. It is very cheap though to get a hold of Cross, and it's not really uh, too hard to find now, even though I had no intention of buying this figure. But at the same time, it's still pretty nice overall. But, of course, that doesn't really mean that nothing else special will show up the next dang day. <laughs> if you've already seen the community post, I already stated the list of planned reviews that are coming soon. So, tomorrow, or hopefully tomorrow, or whatever the heck the time may be, may, maybe the next two days afterwards. I don't know when, but when I get the post in the review, actually. By that point, the next review will be the Hammond Collection, Jurassic Park 3, and Kalosaurus, which is going to be really fun to review. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll be seeing you guys later.